<laughs> we need we need some masala <laughs> which we probably will <laughs> yeah grapes grow so yeah so uh, the 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 whole argument for decentralization is a huge argument the president is being hit with trying to use the centralized, centralized utilities and evolve them, like putting power back into the line grid. Well, what happens when the grid goes down? I mean, does anybody ask him that? The president is not getting advised very well, although he's trying. Uh, he can't be, he can't be uh, an experienced person in this. He has to depend on people to give him that advice. And the general consensus out there is, Using the grid, take advantage of the grid. We've got the grid. Well, the grid is, you know, it's like taking advantage of a of a bowling pin around your neck or something. Uh, you know, get rid of it. Michael, yeah. one other thing that showed, uh, obviously, where I live in Los Angeles, we're connected to the grid. We put in solar power, and it wasn't until the system was installed that I discovered that when the grid goes down, so does my solar power. It shuts off because they don't want. <laughs> it's going back onto the grid. <coughs> yeah. So the solar power that I put in there doesn't even allow me to run when they break. Well, what that's like is like the when the Titanic sunk and everybody was scattered out all over the North Atlantic in the little few life rafts that they had. This would be what we're doing with situations like that is we're anchoring the life rafts to the Titanic itself. So as it goes down, it takes the life rafts with it. I mean, we need life rafts independent of the Titanic and get away from it uh, because it's, uh, it's going down. Um, it already is in trouble. And so we're, we're constantly moving forward with, yeah, the technology on the buildings, but the, uh, the method of making them happen, uh, you know, the, the, the biggest bugaboo that I've seen in the last year and a half has been the economy. You know, if the economy can cause people to not have a home, then we have a problem. Uh, the economy is a game that you play like Monopoly for motorcycles, flat screen TVs, and sewing machines or whatever, but the sustenance of people should not be subject to an economy. People should have shelter, water, food, and energy uh, regardless of, of economy. And if that's possible, and we're trying to show that it is possible, then uh, you could, you know, that can affect everything from health to war to everything uh, to, to spread that potential uh, around the world. Uh, it's, like, it's like, you know, right now our country is going around the world exploiting other countries for oil when really we have the technology, we have the, the funding, we have everything to go around the country and just make sure every man, woman, and child on this planet has a home with, you know, food and water. And it's, that is possible with just one of the budgets, either the war budget or the health, education, and welfare budget, or any one of the budgets could give everybody on this planet a home. Yeah? Have you guys ever applied for any sort of federal grants to try to develop this more? Um, no. People are telling us, it's true, we know. There's a lot of grant money out there. We could d get our hands on it to some extent. Uh, but it's like there's a lot of strings attached to getting a grant. It kind of puts you on the uh, radar. Right. And I prefer to fly under the radar for lots of reasons. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, but I'm not really because I'm out there, you know, uh, in, in a lot of different ways. But, uh, yeah, so we, we, haven't, we haven't exploited that. I don't know if we will or whatever. We... We try to make everything that we do. We've, do, we've had to do this because we have been sued, screwed, and tattooed uh, up one side and down the other. So we have had to be like, a, like a, when a zebra is born to a, a herd in Africa, uh, the herd moves on. That zebra or giraffe or whatever better learn to walk in like 20 minutes or it's going to get left behind because the herd is moving. So our ideas have to support us immediately. They, so we've always made it so that what we're doing supports us. Fortunately, our needs are not that extensive. You know, uh, we all drive Mercedes, but they're all, 
1950, <laughs> 60, and 70, <laughs> held together with rivets and whatever. Uh, but we all are living, you know, we're living, as far as we're concerned, we're in the lap of luxury, but it doesn't take much to supply it, you know. I mean, I can, uh, Amy, or uh, the girl who, the woman who handles our books and everything, she gives me $500 a week, you know. It's all I need. So, uh, we, that's just like designing down the houses. We're designed down our lifestyle, so we just don't need that much, so it's easy to make it work. And uh, so, and, and that, that brings up one other point that I think is significant, and that is uh, the, the idea of, uh, uh, we've had a lot of investors, like want to buy us out and buy into this and all kinds of things, and every single one of them wanted to just increase profits, stop evolution, start manufacturing, and get this out there. There's a fortune to be made. And, and the actual, pro see, this company has never made a profit, uh, ever, in my, in, I've been doing it for a long time. And uh, the, the way that it, uh, that gives it a buoyancy. In other words, profit and, and is, a, is a weight in a balloon, almost. You've got to make a bunch of profit for the board of directors, the fact that nobody needs a profit in this company gives it a buoyancy. I mean, we're traveling light. And you have to travel light to find out about new terrain. And so it actually becomes a way of life. It becomes a lifestyle, uh, which maybe is even a valid lifestyle for the entire planet, you know, which gets you further and further away from economy. I mean, it's, it's insane that some kind of a game like economy can stand between people and feeding themselves. So um, the... It all, it's all, when you start looking at it overall, it's all interrelated. You know, we're not just talking about environmentalism. We're not just talking about recycling or energy or fossil fuel or economy or politics or even spirituality. We're talking about everything all into one movement. And uh, that's how we live on this planet. So, <laughs> we, need, we need some masala.